Welcome back to another golf vlog. My name is Carter and this is the second time playing through uh, this nine hole par three, this Betty Allison par three course. So you've seen this whole one before. My goal here, so I said before, my goal was to get three over after nine holes and I did not do that. I don't even know what I shot. It was like a nine over. It was really bad. I had two holes where it pretty much blew up, but that was my goal here again. I basically thought, you know what? I've played this. I know where the, how the greens are rolling and we'll be able to, we'll be able to get three over. That was my goal. So the wind was gusting so bad that it took my camera down but hey we're good no broken camera or anything and we've got this putt for par I, I had this exact putt when I played the first nine so I knew I had to go more left than before and I still missed it pretty much the same way that I did last time so that was a little frustrating that was a little frustrating I knocked this in for bogey so on to hole two if you remember this hole doesn't have much to protect it it's a pretty easy hole it is a little uphill but not by much And I chunked it. I, I pretty much chunked it. I had, I think I have like 30 yards into the flag here. I let the, I let the loft of the club do a lot of work for me and I even got some backspin. But this is a pretty nice putt for par considering what I was trying to do there. I, I think in the future I probably will go lower with that shot. But this was good practice as well. Just left that par putt on the short side. Uh, that's going to be another bogey. So my three over goal after nine holes uh, isn't looking good, <laughs> but we're on to hole three. This is an easy one. Pretty much just have a, a gap wedge into this green and I'm, I'm pretty confident that I can keep this one straight, so. I hit this one pretty well, it's just going to roll right on the green and I've got this 15 foot or so putt for birdie. And really misread that one. I'm glad that I gave it enough. It's been a while since I've seen a putt go past the hole, so that's nice. Uh, but that's going to be par. So if you remember hole four last time, I uh, I hit it over the fence, ended up having to take a drop, and that did, that didn't work very well. So this hole, this time I was convinced, I was convinced I wasn't going to do that. I'm aiming, I'm aiming actually at the pin, even though the wind's going to take me left, and I know my miss is also going to take me left, but I knew if I get the if I get the ball there, I can still have my par. I'm still two over, so. So I took it right at the pin. Like I said, that wind was blowing and it pretty much kicked my ball all the way over here. My shot shape doesn't help either, but I've got this chip for birdie. All I have to do is get it out of this rough and land it on the green. It's gonna roll and when it hits, you can see the top of the hill there. I just want to hit that top of the hill and let it roll down to the hole. And it just came out flying. It, it lands past the hole and I've got this for par. So 
So, this is going to be for Bogey. And I almost missed it, but it falls in for me. So, we're on to hole five. Like I said last time, this is the longest par three of the course. But the pin location is super friendly today, so... This starts right at the pin, but it actually stays pretty low and, and kind of fades out into this bunker here. I haven't hit bunkers in a long time. I used to work on a course that had uh, marble bunkers, and I loved them so much. But as you can see, I'm not a big fan of bunkers anymore. So that's definitely something I need to uh, work on in the future get comfortable around the bunkers because I have been comfortable in bunkers before I'm just not very comfortable right now couldn't tell you why so we're sitting at five over once again this is this is not ideal but I'm just trying to take away something here I hit this right at the pin, and honestly, it was one of the best shots I hit during these two rounds. I've got this really nice putt for birdie. It's going to go, um, I think it goes left to right. It is going to break a little bit. I, I feel good on the speed. I, I pretty much feel, I feel very confident in this putt. And it just doesn't stay up for me. If I put a little bit more on it, speed-wise, I would have made it. If I gave it a little more to the left, I would have made it. What are you going to do? We're going to move on. We're going to go on to hole seven. That was a nice par. 175 yards. But once again, this hole's uphill, so the hole five might be the longest hole on the course. But this one definitely plays longer. At this point, I know it looked like I almost hit that guy, but I promise I didn't. Um, <laughs> I I am getting I, I I can see myself get frustrated. Got this for birdie. Kind of just knock it onto the green, and then it, it rolls up this hill actually. So not my greatest chip, but I can put this close for par. Yes, I think I can. It sweeps left and then back right. And actually, that was a pretty good putt. So that's going to be a bogey putt right there. I went ahead and made that. So hole eight, like I said, this is my favorite hole on the course. Once again, we're at hole eight, sitting at six over, which I think was what I was sitting at last time as well. This actually went long, pretty straight shot, but went long and it's kind of here in the back of the green. I really thought when I played these nine holes back to back, the second time I would play them, I thought I would know a lot more and I would, I would make more putts but I didn't. I think that's something to consider that just because you know the course, that obviously helps. That helps a lot, but you can see me just kind of, once again, I had some people waiting and I thought, well, I'm not going to worry about my score right now. Uh, not anymore, at least. We're going to go on to hole nine. I think no matter how well you know the course, you still have to play the game. You still have to hit the ball in the right spots and you still have to putt it right. You have to, you can know the break all day long and you know the speed but if you don't execute it then you're not going to make the putt so that was a pretty poor tee shot on nine 
but I took this as an, an opportunity to try some short game stuff here. This is just kind of 20 yards from the pin. And I actually almost hold it and then it rolled out to here, but this is for par. Once again, we had some big numbers, round recap, better short game, positive headspace, and pace on putts. That positive headspace, once again, uh, I really need to focus on that. I can see myself getting frustrated, and when I see myself get frustrated, I don't hit great shots. So the pace on the putts will come as, as I play more golf. And better short game, once again, that's something I need to practice on the greens. I need to practice at the range. So... Thanks guys so much for watching. We've got some more videos coming up next week and honestly, I've got some really exciting videos that blow these other videos out of the water. They're so exciting. I'm playing some really exciting courses and I'm seeing some really exciting golf in the future. So be sure to subscribe to see that and I'll see you next time.